Are you looking at colleges and your inbox is flooded with emails from schools wanting you to check them out? Are you attending college fairs, open houses, or heading out on campus tours? During the college search, you'll meet so many people. I'll share with you one of the most important people on your college search and how they can help you make the right choice. Hey Bobcat Nation, I'm Skylar. Welcome to I Wish I Would've Known, where college students like me share what we wish we would've known going through the college process. When you visit schools or attend a college fair, think of how many people you meet. It's so easy to get overwhelmed and even easier to write off these interactions as just another brochure or short conversation. However, the college admissions representatives you meet along your college selection journey can actually be your best resource during your college search. Whether you have a question about the school or program or you eventually interview for the college, here are three reasons why they will be a critical part of your decision process. Number three, stop searching, guessing, and stressing. There's someone who can answer all of your questions. I remember being so tired of trying to find answers to a million questions online and wishing there was someone I could talk to who could give me all the inside info I couldn't find on my own. The college admission reps you meet along your journey can be that resource for you. Their job is to know anything and everything about their school and answer any questions you have. I learned that the best way to utilize a college admissions rep is to never be afraid to ask all those questions you couldn't find answers to. They can even connect you to those who can elaborate more, like professors of programs you're interested in or other members of the campus community. Number two. Do you want to get a sense of what it's like to be a member of a school's community? College admission reps are there and can share. Continuing a dialogue with them allows you to get a better idea of the values and priorities of the school. I tried to listen closely to the type of answers college reps gave me and how they talked about their school. If what they were saying didn't resonate with me, I took note. But if I could see myself in what they described, it led me to want to learn more about what the school could offer me. They can even invite you to some of the college's events and give you an opportunity to see the school in a different, more personalized way than a regular tour. Number one. You want to stand out, but what does that even mean? And how do you do it? Start with your college admissions rep. You're probably going to hear many times throughout the application process that you want to be more than a number. Where do you start? Here's a secret. Forming relationships with your college admissions reps is one of the most important ways. There are lots of factors to your applications, like essays, test scores, recommendations, and grades. But by forming these relationships, it gives them an idea of who you are on a deeper level and puts your face to a name during the review process. You may be asking yourself, if these relationships are so important to your college search, how do you even make them? First. Start by always taking the business card or information of anyone you have a memorable conversation with at any event. And when they say to reach out anytime, be the person who actually does. This can really stand out, and some reps even write down the names of students that send them a quick email thanking them for their time or calling them expressing their interest in the school. The best advice I can give you is whenever you meet a college rep, always send them some sort of communication, reintroducing yourself, and then continue the conversation by asking questions or just updating them about your search. I went one step further and made sure to send a handwritten thank you note to the college reps I had spoken to at each school after sending in my application. When I went back to some of my schools for admitted students day, they came to find me and told me how much that had stood out. Never underestimate how much these people can help you during this journey and take the time to really utilize them. Do you have a tip or something you wish you would have known preparing for college? Drop it in the comment section below. These are just some tips that can help you get through the college process. Looking for more? Check out another episode and click here for more tips from college students. Go Bobcat!